Despite the global economic downturn, Israel's economy has grown at an impressive rate. To gain insight into this success story, IBA's Jordana Miller spoke to prominent American entrepreneur Jonathan Medved, co-president and founder of Vringo, and asked him how the Israeli economy will fare as the year comes to a close. The economy has simply been unbelievable, actually a miracle. People around the world can't believe how we're doing it. If you look at our stock market, the Tel Aviv 25 is now about 1,300. We're up 13% for the year, which is good. The Dow is up only 9%. But if you look at where we started in 1992 in January, that Tel Aviv 25 is 100. We're up 13 times in these 18 years. The Dow, by the way, has only grown about four times, okay, and so we're basically three to four times faster growth in terms of our stock market, our leading companies, than the Dow Jones. If you look at our growth rate overall, which is how the economy is doing, we're about 4% this year. We joined the OECD, which is the very exclusive club of the world's you know, biggest and best economies. The OECD as an average is growing at about 2%, so we're growing at twice that OECD level. If you look at what we're doing with unemployment, our unemployment's down at 6%. It's come down 2% from uh, last year. We're about half the U.S. rate. If you look at how broad-based this growth is, it's not just our incredible high-tech sector, which is really the beating heart of Israel's economy, but it's also tourism. We hit a new you know, uh, record here in Israel, 3 million tourists, and it's growing. We'll see what happens by the end of December. But it's way off the charts in terms of an increase of tourism. Our real estate sector is growing so well that some people say there might even be a bubble forming. But across the board, housing prices in Israel have gone up 15% across the board in 2010. You tell that to Americans and they look at you like you're crazy from some other you know, foreign planet. So if you look at uh, you know, how we're doing on, on key indicators, you know, growth of uh, GDP, our stock market, unemployment, tourism, real estate, everything is looking up very, very well. What is the role of high tech in the story of Israel's successful economy? Um, this year was a particularly good year for Israeli high tech relative to uh, you know, other tech economies around the world. First of all, we had the, the book you know, Startup Nation, which not only you know, sold very well here in this country, but became a bestseller on business lists, so much so that in places like India or Korea, it's now a bestseller. It's now been translated into Chinese. And all of a sudden, Israel has not just emerged as a high-tech power, but has emerged as a high-tech brand. And that's helped all of our companies. Every, you know, every time an Israeli company goes abroad, they're now being met by many people who say, hey, you're from that, that startup nation, right? You're from Israel. And that's, that's very, very important. If you look at what's going on in venture capital, this year again, over 400 Israeli companies will receive venture capital investment. That's an extraordinary number. If you look at that number relative to all of Europe, Europe has got about 600 companies that are getting venture capital investment. So it's Israel versus Europe. The only difference is that Europe has 700 million people and we only have 7 million people. How is it that we produce almost as many high-tech startups that get venture capital? And that goes back to our ingenuity, to our attitude towards risk, to our you know, immigrant culture. And there are many things actually in that book, Startup Nation, that describe that. But high-tech is really on a roll. So many of the things that we take for granted in the world are today coming from Israel, this new Microsoft product called uh, you know, Connect, which is where you can interact with your game box with just your hands. That's an Israeli product coming from a company called PrimeSense, just raised $50 million. And I've been very fortunate to get my you know, little company public on Wall Street this year. Why do you think Israelis are particularly well suited for startup companies? Risk. It's your attitude towards risk. Okay, and I can repeat it 10 times, but it's really, that's the reality. In, in places where you're afraid of job security, if you're concerned with your vacation, if you are looking for very long-term, they, they don't make great startups. Also, our culture is very informal. People question each other. Sometimes when you see Israelis talking, you think it's an argument. Often is. That's good for high-tech culture. When you add that to immigrants, and immigrants, by the way, make phenomenal entrepreneurs because they've been the CEO of their own personal startup, coming and starting up their life in a, in a new place. That's strong about Israel. Paris David